A Pittsburgh area restaurant got national attention and support for banning kids under six years old. But children are getting locked out of everything from hotels to airlines. So what's with this supposed war on kids. Here for a fair and balanced debate are Stephen Traub, Director of Operations for Prime Hospitality Group, and Susan Avery, a parenting journalist and digital director for Moore Magazine. They're also both parents, which makes them exactly right for this debate. Good morning to both of you. Morning. morning. All right, so uh, Susan, let me start with you because we covered the story of McDane's restaurant uh, in, in Pennsylvania where they suddenly said, you know what, we've just had too many complaints about our kids. We're not going to allow them anymore under the age of six. And they actually got more patrons coming to their restaurant. You think it was a good idea? Uh, yeah, what do you think? If you're a retailer or a restaurant and you're getting uh, more business because you're making a business decision, it was definitely a good idea for them. So now, Stephen, it seems to be catching on. Uh, now Malaysia Airlines announcing it's going to ban infants from first class. Uh, Whole Foods stores in Missouri are offering child-free shopping hours. I do want to say that they offer child care on the side, so maybe that is a good thing. What do you think? I mean, the point is, in today's economy, to limit your customer base and just say, I'm only going to accept certain types of customers rather than others, why children are singled out. First of all, like children, just assuming that children are badly behaved and limiting them to be coming in at certain sections of time is really unfair to the children and to the parents themselves. So, so do you think that, that uh, parents who uh, teach their kids good manners and, and their kids are well behaved in restaurants, that they're being punished because other parents aren't doing that right now? Exactly. Parents, are train, parents can train their children, like this is what we're going to, be do, going, going to be doing when we go out in public. This is how I want you to behave. I want you to try and sit quietly and do what you can and just behave and then hopefully you'll get rewarded for it. <laughs> all right, but Stephen, then I want to be at your house 24-7 because Susan, we all know that as parents, you can say that to your kids, but especially with three, four and under, you don't always get that result, do you? Yeah, no, uh, you know, preschoolers and toddlers are unpredictable. That's just the way it is. And if, you know, an adult is going out for an adult meal, overwhelmingly our readers are saying, who are parents themselves, it would be great if I can go to a restaurant and not have to have the kid next to me, you know, potentially picking his nose or, you know, under the table or causing a ruckus. That's the kind of adult experience I'm looking for. And, you know, these little kids are unpredictable. I think it's perfectly fine for restaurateurs to do this. All right. So, Stephen, you have three restaurants in the New York City area. I take it that you're not going to be banning kids anytime soon. Definitely not. I've actually brought my sons numerous times to the restaurants, and they really look forward to it. They, they learn to, to deal with service, to deal with sitting at a formal table. Why should the restaurants that children are allowed to go to be the fast food restaurants? Why can't they go to a restaurant where high quality food is available? It's a totally different type of concept where like, they could learn to be big kids rather than little children. You know what? The problem, though, is not everybody's like you, Stephen. And that's what, uh, you know, these restaurants are saying, is that parents aren't doing their job in teaching their kids etiquette. I know for me, I actually t went to a restaurant with my daughter before it opened. I asked the local restaurant if I could do that to teach my daughter manners. Like a half an hour before it opened, we sat there, we got a whole lesson, but most parents aren't doing their job in that way. Wow, really good point. Uh, I've seen those etiquette classes. I've threatened my kids with them. <laughs> Suddenly they shape up. It's amazing what can happen. Uh, Stephen Traub, Susan Avery, great debate. We'll let our viewers decide. Let us know what you think about it. You can Twitter me or email us as well. Thanks to both of you. Thank you.